ICAPS, and on behalf of both the uh, ICAPS and CPIOR organizing committees, I'd like to welcome you to Delft. People have already told me that Delft is a nice, quiet town, no traffic, and actually yesterday I did encounter a traffic jam where people have to wait for the bridge to close again. So when, when we do have uh, issues here, it's when our bridges are open, we need to wait for ships to pass. But fortunately, our province has been so kind to actually put a poem on the bottom of the bridge so you don't get bored. If you do have encounters, just wait and enjoy. So for those of you that uh, have been there already, um, some of you have, might have already been here for about a week because before the conference we had a, a summer school in, in Nordrijk, which is a town on, on the coast here. And we have, uh, it was a great success, we had um, about 100 students, 15 tutors, and there's, you can see they were all extremely happy. Uh, although this picture was taken at the day that they, they were allowed to leave. So after summer school, uh, many of the students uh, came to the doctoral consortium, which was on Sunday. And so they, they presented posters, listened to some interesting talks, like how to survive ICAPs, for instance. And afterwards, they, they had a nice dinner as well. So I think here about 50 students participated. And then yesterday um, and the day before, we had the CPRR masterclass, uh, as well as many uh, workshops and tutorials that I, I suppose many of you actually attended. So uh, this was made possible by a large number of people. Uh, I won't go through all of them here, but I do want to point out that uh, I'm especially proud of our local organizers. Many of our grad students, our people in our department helped out to, to make this possible. So let's take, give them a hand. <laughs> Furthermore, uh, this also would not have been possible it, if it were not for all many of these magnificent sponsors, um, the ones on the top right uh, are more associated with CPAIUR, the ones on the left with ICAPS, and some of them actually sponsored both conferences. So let's thank them. <laughs> so finally, um, well, finally, for, for my part at least, uh, let's look at some numbers of people attending uh, ICAPS in this case. So we have 265 uh, participants as of yesterday. I believe that's a record. If you look at the distribution, um, Australia is doing pretty well. Uh, Netherlands is almost second, but that's what we were aiming for last year. But uh, okay, third place is good enough, I guess. But yeah, America still first. Also, uh, CPIUR, uh, America first, uh, but Belgium second. So that's great. Also here we had a very high turnout, uh, 110 people, which was many more than we'd budgeted for. And so I hope, um, you know, it might be a bit crowded at the lunch, but it will be even better for you to mingle. So I had some s more logistical updates. Um, so what we tried to do is we tried to keep all the ICAPs and the two ICAP sessions in the same room, and then CPIOR one in, in another one, the slightly nicer one. Uh, except for today at 11.30, the panel uh, on AI education will be in the Senatsal, which is where typically CPIORs, just because it's more suited for, for a panel. Then I made some mistakes um, while editing the schedule, so there's a missing title in the, the ICAP learning session. So if you're interested in this paper, do, do visit that session. And uh, two papers, uh, none of the uh, people um, none of the authors could actually make it, so they will be presented as a poster only uh, on Friday. Okay, William Young. Good morning, everybody. My name is Willem. I'm the program chair of CPEIOR this year. Um, I've uh, had great help from these individuals here. Matthijs de Weert from TU Delft was uh, a fantastic collaborator and made uh, it possible that we had a great liaison with, uh, with ICAPS this year. I also want to acknowledge David Bergman, Biestrad Dolkina and Joris Knable for their help on this program with the Masterclass for the Publicity and Sponsorship. Um, in this uh, year's CPIOR we received 111 submissions, which is a fairly uh, good number actually for CPIOR. <coughs> 96 regular papers, of which we accepted 47, um, and 9 abstracts. 
And all the proceedings are available online, and they've been made freely available by Springer. Um, and this, web, this uh, link here, if you click through that link, and you are not uh, in an academic environment like this, you can actually get free access for, I think, two or three weeks from now. So I would like to thank all PC members and external reviews for their great work on making this all possible. And I would like to point out that this year is the uh, 20th anniversary of CPIOR as an event and the 15th as a conference, as a, as a, as a main conference. And we introduced this year uh, two uh, awards uh, sp sponsored by Springer. And the Distinguished Paper Award is going to Intruder Alert Optimization Models for Solving the Mobile Robot Graph Clear Problem by these authors right here. And the paper will be presented on Friday, uh, 10 to 2. And there's also a student paper award, Symbolic Bucket Elimination for Piecewise Continuous or Constraint Optimization. And that will be presented on Wednesday. Um, we can already applaud uh, for those authors because they did a great job. <laughs> but they will receive their uh, awards and their checks um, on, these, uh, on these times right here. So this afternoon, the first award will be presented to the students. Uh, the award committee consists of Tobias Achterberg, Nina Nauerlitzke, and myself. So I would like to thank them as well. Um, yes, of course. Um, there is also a banquet, obviously, and since we had many more people uh, attending CPR than we had expected, there is a wait list for banquet tickets. There's a few people that are not able to make it, unfortunately. So if you're not going uh, to the banquet for some reason, um, could you please uh, return your ticket to me or to Matthijs, one of the Matthijses? Um, and then we give that, that ticket to the waitlist people. Um, you can get reimbursed, but we can only reimburse those tickets until the waitlist is gone, just for your information. And the ticket looks like this, and you should have received it in your envelope. Um, so by default, you received the ticket, but some people did not receive the ticket. So if you're not going there, please return your ticket. And as a reminder, since it is a celebra uh, celebration this year, we will uh, have some uh, small celebration during the dinner, which is another reason to perhaps want to attend this, uh, uh, this banquet. And with that, I would like to turn it over to Gabby. Good morning. So my name is Gabrielle Rugger. I'm one of the program co-chairs of ICAPS. And um, I would first like to present a little bit about the program. So we had 209 program committee members this year from 28 countries and 74 additional reviewers. They, this group. Uh, provided at least three reviewers for each paper, and they did a marvelous job. We were really satisfied with the reviewing quality, so thanks to all PC members and also to all the additional reviewers. We had, um, besides the journal track, five different tracks. Um, here you see the number of submitted papers, which went up compared to previous years, and you see the number of accepted papers. We have 65 papers in the program from this year, plus nine from the journal track. Um, and as you see at the bottom, if you want to get a paper um, accepted, the acceptance rate for, for long papers is generally slightly um, higher. Nothing that's intended, just how the reviewers see it. So write us um, full long papers for next year. Um, for the overall program, you have already enjoyed 11 workshops and 8 tutorials. Today in the lunch break, we will have system demonstrations. Over the week, we will have a um, poster session in parallel to the lunch break, so just grab some food, go to the poster session. We will enjoy five invited talks. We'll have a panel on AI education later this morning. We will see the APC and competition results in the program. And this evening, I think, is the AI Everywhere public event with two of our invited talks. And so I can only say enjoy the program, enjoy ICAPS and CPIOR. And I think um, Willem now will just introduce our first invited speaker.